Stinging criticism has forced the Australian Prime Minister to cut short a holiday in Hawaii as rampant bushfires swallow up large chunks of New South Wales. Scott Morrison's return follows the death of two firefighters, killed when a falling tree struck their truck as it travelled through the front line of a fire. And now his government's being accused of gutting resources available to deal with the blazes. The New South Wales union boss for firefighters, Leighton Drury, says the fires are hotter, bigger and and more ferocious than ever. He says funding cuts are putting communities in danger. Look, we've been at this for three months now. Um, we've got over, I think, three and a half million hectares burnt. We've lost over 700 houses. Uh, we've had uh, multiple fatalities. Um, you know, our, our wonderful volunteers uh, are stretched thin. Uh, they're worn out. Um, Professional firefighters have entered the fray, and even even they are starting to get fatigued. And you know, we're looking ahead to the long fire season. We, you know, we're looking at March or April before we may see some respite on this. Um, hopefully, we get some rain in the next couple of months. But uh, interestingly, today, uh, sorry, yesterday, the New South Wales government again cut into fire services. Two of our regional towns. Uh, now half the amount of firefighters turning up um, to support their communities. Um, the government over here, to be honest, has been a disgrace for the last eight years. Uh, they've cut into fire rescue New South Wales' as budget um, and, you know, where millions and millions of dollars have been cut from the fire services and it's now showing on the front line. How many firefighters short do you reckon you are? So across the state we're 400 short, but in these two towns alone it takes... So on a, on a normal fire truck, you need four firefighters to put out fires. They're only going to be sending two. Now, obviously, this is a dangerous practice. Uh, the communities are going to be put at risk. Uh, to do internal firefighting, where you go into a house and save people and put fires out, you need four people there for safe and effective crewing. Now, the government, and, and, and unfortunately, the fire risk in New South Wales, I have some sympathy for them. They've had their budget you know, decimated under this government. Um, they're doing what... I suppose what they think they need to do to make budget for all the bean counters. But I tell you, it's put the communities of New South Wales at risk um, and, and we'll, be, um, we'll be absolutely taking the government to task on this over the coming weeks. I know these people, the firefighters, are professionals, but they must be pretty exhausted. Oh, absolutely. And look, we've got retained firefighters. We've got our, our full-time firefighters and our retained guys. And five, our retained guys have been at this now for three months. And they are getting tired. Um, you know, they've been called away from their communities that they're, they're uh, there to protect uh, for, for weeks on end. Um, and, you know, look, it, it is coming down to Christmas. And, um, you know, families want them home. Their employers want them home. Um, yeah, it, look, it's, it, it's getting to that position where, you know, what we've been saying now for months with this government is that we need more firefighters, we need more resources. Um, and, it's you know, they've had their heads stuck in the ground. Tell us, what are conditions like today in Sydney? Look, conditions are a bit milder today. Yesterday was horrific. Uh, tomorrow has been counted as even worse than yesterday. Um, it's still uh, still hazy. There's a light wind. Um, we're probably at around sort of 26 degrees. But the conditions that we've seen and normally with bushfires, um, the milder conditions, is actually we're still getting those uh, intense fires going. Something's happened over the last five years. These fires, we're seeing different behaviour. The algorithms that we use to predict fire behaviour are not working. Um, we're seeing fires that, you know, the hazard reductions that we would put in normally that would stop some of these fires, it's just going straight through the treetops. 50 to 70 metres uh, uh, wall of flames. It's, um, it's different fire behaviour, and which is why you need more resources to deal with it. So what's changed, do you think? Look... I don't know. I mean, I'm not a climate scientist. What I do know, like, I've been a firefighter for 20 years. Um, the environment's changing. Um, fires are changing. They're getting hotter. They're becoming more intense. Um, they're, 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 they're doing things that we don't normally see on fire ground in, in the conditions that we would normally expect to see. Um, but again, as, as, like I said, I'm no climate scientist, I, uh, but we are getting hotter, um, faster, more intense fires. And, uh, you know, if we don't address that in, in a couple of different ways, I mean, again, with more firefighters and whatever else anyone else says around the climate stuff, but 
we're going to see more properties lost and probably, unfortunately, more fatalities. Are these fires becoming unfightable? We've got a fire at the moment that's uh, 400,000 hectares. And I can't even fathom what that, what that looks like. It's a, it's a, uh, I believe it's a 90-kilometre fire front. Now, that is an unmanageable fire for anybody. Uh, it's burning off to just to the sort of the, the, the northwest of uh, Sydney at the moment. Um, it'll impact uh, places in the Blue Mountains. For any of your listeners over there that know Sydney, it'll impact into the Blue Mountains, it'll impact into the Central Coast and possibly into Newcastle, which is just north of Sydney. Um, that is a massive fire front. Um, and to be honest, no one will have ever have the resources to deal with that. But we could certainly do. Uh, we certainly could do with more resources and obviously protect more life and property if we had them. Do you need Kiwis helping you out over there? Look, we'll take anything at the moment. Uh, you, the, our cousins across the ditch. Um, we've taken your commissioner in the last couple of years. Um, so yeah, if he reaches out, I'm sure we'd happily take a few people over. But um, look. Going into the future, this is the crisis that we're dealing with now, but we've got crises coming uh, year after year. The fire season's getting longer, um, so we need to address that throughout the year. And again, you need more professional resources. We can't keep seeing cuts under a Conservative government. Um, it, it's dangerous for the community and it's dangerous for my members. And that's Leighton Drury, who is from the New South Wales Union representing firefighters.